So you're looking to move to the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and you want to live in a small town that has a nice walkable town center that has a lot of great shops and restaurants. Well, you're gonna love Charlotte, North Carolina because just outside this thriving metropolis, that Main Street vibe still exists. Many of Charlotte suburbs have a historic Main Street district that gives you a lot of walkable options to some great shops, restaurants, and things to do. So if you're looking for that small town feel with loads of charm, if you like that walkability aspect to be close to shops and dining, then you've come to the right video because today we're going to highlight the five best Main Street districts in the Charlotte area. And make sure you stay tuned till the end where I will share the two main street downtown areas that I am super excited about because they've had a lot of revitalization and a lot of growth. If you are new to the channel and wanna know all there is to know about the Charlotte area, make sure you click subscribe and turn notifications on. That way you'll be the first to know about what's going on in our local Charlotte, North Carolina housing market. Hi guys, my name is Josh Finnegan, team leader with the Finnegan Group powered by eXp Realty. And every single day, myself and my team are getting calls, texts, and emails from people just like you, either looking to move to the Charlotte area or within the Charlotte area. And I'll tell you, we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, call us, text us, email us. You can schedule a Zoom meeting so we can meet face to face. The link is just below. We'd love to be able to learn a little bit more about what you're looking to accomplish and how we can make it a smooth transition. So as I mentioned earlier, today we're going to review the five best main street type towns here in the greater Charlotte area. But first I wanna to touch on why we have so many historic main street districts here in Charlotte. A lot of these towns grew up around the textile industry. There was textile mills and a town grew around it. They had a main street district with different shops. Now, when the textile mills went away, a lot of these areas suffered. But over the past few decades, we've seen a ton of revitalization, a lot of restaurants, new shops coming in and really making these places unique, cool and full of charm. So let's go ahead and start with number five, which is downtown Fort Mill, South Carolina. Fort Mill is just across the South Carolina border and it hugs I-77. So you are still super close to Charlotte City Center and the Charlotte International Airport. And it is a thriving town really known for their public school system. Fort Mill is one of the fastest growing towns in South Carolina and the historic downtown is still the heartbeat of this town. Some of the buildings in downtown Fort Mill date back to the 1800s and you're gonna find a lot of different shops and restaurants right here in this downtown district. And if you like spicy foods, you gotta go check out Pucker Butts Pepper Company. That is actually where Smokin' Ed Curry has his shop. He is the creator of the Carolina Reaper. Downtown Fort Mill is right beside Millstone Park and this area is gonna be where you find a lot of the different events going on throughout the year. And if you are considering moving here to Fort Mill, the average price point for a single family home in Fort Mill is $623,000. Number four on the list is downtown Waxhaw, North Carolina, about 30 miles southeast of Charlotte City Center. And downtown Waxhaw is sprinkled with local shops, boutiques, and restaurants. It's right here in downtown Waxhaw, you'll find the Dream Chasers Brewery, which is actually the very first brewery in Union County. You'll also find a farmer's market year round with some fantastic produce and vegetables from the local farmers. Now, downtown Waxhaw is a little bit farther from Charlotte City Center because it doesn't have an interstate that gets you directly to downtown Waxhaw. But I'll tell you, it is one of my favorite downtown areas. There is loads of charm, a lot of really cool restaurants, some awesome shops and a fantastic culture and vibe throughout. And if you're considering moving to Waxhaw, North Carolina, the average price for a single family home here in Waxhaw is $842,000. But I will tell you that varies greatly depending on the location in Waxhaw. Usually the closer you get to Charlotte, the price point increases. And guys, just a quick note, through this video, we're giving you a quick and brief description of these downtown districts and these towns. If you are interested in learning more about any of these towns, we've actually done a deep dive in a dedicated video on each and every one of these towns. I'll put the link in the description below. So if you do find one you love and want to know a little bit more about, check the description below. Number three on the list is downtown Belmont, North Carolina. This is just 15 miles west of Charlotte City Center and it's super close to the Charlotte International Airport. Downtown Belmont is a picturesque blend of historic home street lamps and brick paved sidewalks. 
Now going through downtown Belmont is just like jumping in a time machine and going back in time where things were just simpler, you know? You can spend an entire day strolling through the streets of historic downtown Belmont, visiting all the great shops and restaurants like Nelly's, owned by the Jonas Brothers' parents. Or you can grab an ice cold beer at Jekyll and Hyde's Tap House and Grill. And right in downtown Belmont is where you're gonna find Stowe Park, a fantastic park, a great place to bring the kids and meet the local neighbors. Not to mention downtown Belmont is just a few miles away from the Belmont Abbey College, so you're gonna find locals and students alike in the downtown area. And if you are considering purchasing a home here in Belmont, North Carolina, the average price point for a single family home is $558,000. Number two on the list is downtown Matthews, North Carolina. Now Matthews is just southeast of Charlotte City Center and is still in Mecklenburg County, which is the county that encompasses Charlotte. This is one of the most vibrant and close knit downtown communities in the greater Charlotte area. From the year round farmer's market to the great shops, restaurants, and boutiques, you can spend the entire day exploring downtown Matthews. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out Seaboard Brewery. This is really the heartbeat of Matthews. You're always gonna find great people and great times there. And there's a ton of events year round here in downtown Matthews. They shut the street down, they take over Stumptown Park, and they have these awesome events that the entire town comes to. If you are looking to join this close knit community with a vibrant downtown area, super close to Charlotte, the average price point for a single family home here in Matthews is $634,000. And before we hear from number one on this list, I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you lived or do you currently live in one of these towns that we've briefly touched base on in this video? I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you dislike? Comment below. And guys, number one on this list is Davidson, North Carolina, which is just 20 miles north of Charlotte City Center. It actually hugs I-77 and Lake Norman. And guys, the lifestyle Davidson offers its residents is un. Paralleled. If I could do it all over again and choose another place to live, I would live in downtown Davidson. And guys, downtown Davidson is the picture perfect version of Southern Main Street. The streets of downtown Davidson are lined with antique shops, awesome boutiques, and some great restaurants. My personal favorite is Kindred. It's a tapas style restaurant that has fantastic food. And right beside downtown Davidson, you're gonna find Davidson College, which is a picturesque and beautiful college campus that is an extension of downtown Davidson. Perfect for those strolls with that someone special you just love spending time with. And if you are considering moving to Davidson, North Carolina, the average price point for a single family home is $910,000. And guys, every single one of these towns are unique and offer a special culture that really brings the entire town together and gives you that walkability everyone loves so much. So if you do wanna know a little bit more about any of these towns that we mentioned in the top five, we've done videos doing a deep dive on each and every one of them. Again, guys, the link is just below. And guys, as promised, here are the two downtown districts I am most excited about because there's a lot of revitalization going on. There's gonna be a lot of potential, a lot of growth in these areas. And it's downtown Concord and downtown Huntersville where millions of dollars are being invested right now to revitalize the area, really make it that walkable district and bring people from all across the region to these towns. And guys, guess what? We have shot videos on both Huntersville and Concord. And if you do want a deep dive on these towns, check the description below. There's links to take you to those videos. Guys, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the downtown districts here in the Charlotte area. If you are considering moving in the Charlotte area or to the Charlotte area, we'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, call us, text us, email us, schedule a Zoom meeting so we can meet face to face. The link is just below. We'd love to be able to make this transition for you guys a smooth one. Until next video, I'll see you around town.